Hello, hello, hello. My name is Gaffwin. This is Kerbal Space Program, and you can see right up there. We're going to try to make that our target for the day. So let's jump in and build a Silza rocket. Still only have the one command pod. So far I have not done that great with the sciencing and the sciencing, mostly. I try. I really do try. But uh, I'm still not that good at the game. But that's what career mode is for, to practice, to build up slowly, and to see where you get so I'm trying to build a lander, and uh, I'm putting a ton of parachutes on. I want to shoot for the moon. I'm hoping to get to the moon, but I also want to bring the frickin' lander back in one piece this time so I can get all the data I can. I'm not sure if if uh, not landing the thing gets rid of the data from your goo or the other stuff, but really it just uh, I just want to land one without crashing it for once. So loads of parachutes. And... I'm kind of stealing this design from one I saw on another channel. <laughs> I believe it was uh, Hawk Gaming. He had a very similar design to this lander, and he was able to transfer fuel out of the sides into the middle. So I stole that from him. Just, just saying. But I think it'll work pretty well. Now, I still only have the the straight decoupler. I don't have radial decouplers yet, so. I'm planning to put all of my solid fuel boosters on the bottom with one decoupler and just uh, fire them all off at once and then drop them instead of carrying along any extra weight. Looked a little too unstable, so I took a bit out of the middle. I'm pretty sure this thing's going to fall over on the runway. And I'm going to give it uh, five, five solid fuel down here, one in the middle and four on the sides, and then we'll launch slows at once, see how far it gets us. I think these things have pretty good fuel efficiency actually, so shouldn't be too bad. And some extra command pods just for steering since we haven't unlocked any other way to stabilize. Don't even have, uh, don't have fins, don't have anything else. Just nothing. Well, this is my generic lander. I just want to land somewhere. I mean, I'd love to get to the moon. I'd love to get to the moon, but I just want to land somewhere and get a sample. That is my goal, to land somewhere, even if it's another piece of Kerbin. Now, as soon as I launch, I realized that, uh, <coughs> yeah, I forgot all my science stuff. I forgot every single piece of science stuff, so. Let's just grab an antenna and some goo. Because I don't have any other science things. I want to unlock some more. But right now all I've got is an antenna and some goo, so let's just add those right there, save again, and try this thing out. Now I'm pretty sure this thing is going to fall straight over and uh, explode. <coughs> but we'll see what we get. And we're off. Oop. Yeah, maybe we're off. That engine's in a bad place, so let's move that pack down there. That would have been bad. I don't like it when my parachutes and my engines are in the same area. Alright, after boringly checking my staging, now we're... And it's flying really straight, which is very surprising. I think it's the extra... I think it's the extra command pot to have at the bottom to make it fly very straight. It is spinning, but... So far this is a much smoother launch than I thought it would be. Except for the spinning. I don't like the spinning at all. I hate the spinning. This thing is a bit wobbly. One stage down, second stage. So far it's an incredibly smooth launch and a really fast launch. I did not expect this to go this smoothly. And we're already almost above the lower atmosphere, which is just great. I did not expect that to launch so smoothly at all. So let's see if we can make orbit. And then perhaps to the moon. But Honestly, I'm this stage in the game, I'm happy if I can make orbit. I don't know all these weird little tricks. I don't know the heat staging. I'm not good at all these lower levels stuff. I, I tend to build huge things that can withstand the way I land on planets. I don't think I've ever, 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 ever had a successful moon landing. I've, I've landed on... I've landed on some other planets that had atmospheres, but never the moon. I think I, I landed on 
on Minimus. I think it was Minimus. And I landed on something with very low gravity, but I've never landed on the moon. Never, ever, ever. Wow. This is going really slowly, and I hope I have enough fuel to actually reach orbit. We'll have to see. I've got a full tank, and I've got two other tanks. I'm not too worried about it, except for it moving pretty slow. I honestly can't remember where the atmosphere leaves off. I like to put it around. Uh, I like to put it around 75, 75 million and or meters. I'm not sure what the M is. I call it million. <laughs> I like to put it up around 75, and then I know I'm pretty safe in the atmosphere. Adding maneuver. We'll just uh, try to get a nice orbit here. Every time I've tried to do an orbit so far, like I'm good at orbit, I can, I know I can do orbit. Every time I've tried to get one so far, I've messed it up badly. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good for a manual orbit. So we'll we'll go for that. It's gonna take quite a while. I think that I've already missed a 50-50 burn, but we'll start it up and uh, try to get something. It's not a 50-50, I already missed the 50-50, but hopefully this will be enough. I'm really starting to doubt with the uh, with the Delta V I'm getting off of this engine and the amount of fuel I have left, I'm really starting to doubt we're going to get to the moon. If we can get to orbit, I'm happy. If we can get to orbit, I can choose what biome we land in and I can get a sample. That's all I really want to do. Let's see, we're not generating electricity, so I can't send a crew report, much as I'd want to. One command pod does not seem to have enough electricity to send a crew report. I wish it did. It'd be very nice if it did. I want to unlock batteries soon. Batteries are a lifesaver. Then you actually have enough power to do something. I really want solar panels, but I think solar panels are much later. Much, much later. Well, we're slowly, slowly getting in orbit. Slowly, we passed our apoapsis a while ago. But, I don't know. It doesn't look like we're going to crash that badly if we do. But, but we're out of fuel. Which is why we brought spare, but we brought spare fuel, so hopefully this is enough. We've got to transfer it out of both sides so that everything lines up uh, even. Turn off the thruster while I'm doing this. Or the thing will be out of balance and won't fly right. Oop, not out of those. Into that one. Into that one. Those little pods actually bring quite a lot of spare fuel. I'm surprised. Very surprised. And actually, I don't know if it's... Maybe it just made us that much lighter, but it seems like we're getting a much better Delta V out of this thing. Alright, orbit. It's a very bad orbit, but we're in orbit. So do some experiments. Yeah, the goo is a sphere and it's cold or something, I don't know. Ten science. No. Crew report. Point seven science. We'll try to send it anyway. Don't think we have enough data. I wish it would stop popping up the damned the damned top bar when I try to get that. Let me see if I can turn that off better. Alright, so now that I'm in orbit. I don't think I have enough to get to the moon. I definitely don't have enough to get to the moon and back. So, I'm just gonna try to land. Hopefully I can land in that uh, desert over there. I want to land in that giant desert section that we're gonna fly over. Get some samples. Do some science in the desert. <coughs> With any luck, though. Beginning a deceleration burn. I'm getting ready to descend. Go retrograde. Deceleration burn. I need to lead my target. I remember I've tried landing before and not leaded the target enough, and I don't land where I want at all. And we've got enough electricity to keep stable. And we've got enough fuel that we can land with the parachutes, definitely. Definitely can land with the parachutes. Alright, heading down. 
so far this has been a very good flight aside from aside from not getting to the moon the takeoff went launch went very very well takeoff went almost perfectly I did wobble a little but other than that it was almost perfect descent and as long as we don't crash too badly on our way down we should be fine I think I want to turn off my SAS so that uh, I can straighten out by myself there. No point in having SAS on on landing. I just want to slow down so that my parachutes don't break. Landing gear, all my beautiful parachutes. I just filled this thing with parachutes. I've got parachutes everywhere. I just do not want this thing to explode. Alright, save the crew report. Then a new report. I think we're over some mountainous terrain or something. Alright, coming down. We're on a slant, but I've got a pretty wide base. Let's see. No, 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 stay. Dang. Ah. Okay, so now we're sideways, and now we're on top of the hatch. We're on top of the hatch. I don't really have enough maneuverability to do anything about it. Those big tanks on the side are keeping me from spinning. So I can't get out of the ship to get a sample. Maybe I can kick it around with the engine. I don't think this engine gimbals, so it's not giving me any steering or anything. I'm trying desperately to move. You can't see it. I'm trying desperately to uh, move this thing in any direction. It's not even budging. So it's not even moving with the engine on full. I don't think this thing is going to is going to flip over. No. Nope. Well, let's see if we can EVA. Can we EVA? Nope. Can't exit. Well, may as well look at the mystery goo. How did the mystery goo respond to crashing? I observed it. Good for me. Mystery goo has been observed. It responded to being crashed by being observed. And let's get a new crew report. I think that one might have been worthless. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Oh well, I was hoping to get some samples, but it looks like I can't. Let's just go back and recover. That was a bit disappointing. I'll be honest, that was a little disappointing. I was hoping I could at least get out and get some surface samples on Kerbin. I was really hoping I'd get to the moon. But we got almost 25 science out of that. And we got more than enough to buy the next set of something or other. Let's see what we get. Come on. What can we afford? I kind of want some stabilizing flaps or the... Hmm. That's just some more engines. Which isn't as good. Stabilizing flaps and radial decouplers would be awesome. Hmm. Can't this, uh, some more engines would be nice, those large things are good, but I think the radial decoupler is what I really, really want. And, yeah, it's just a large engine that I can get later. And stability is way too expensive. It'd be nice to get some stability. Well, let's get the engines, and then we'll have the giant, uh, the giant solid fuel boosters to get us up. That's what I really want, and I only need to few more science to get the radial decoupler. So next time we will try to get the radial decoupler and get some more science and do sciency things. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. We'll get some more astronauts. This guy's got courage. <laughs> As I was saying, like, subscribe, share. I really appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Gepwin and I will see you soon.